This insight is adjusting from a life of hockey. So as I've been in Colorado here for a while, um, I've been working with more and more hockey players. Um, they tend to have a pattern just like those tennis players, just like those baseball players tend to have a pattern. So uh, there's three major things that I see consistently with hockey players. Doesn't mean that you're gonna see them with everyone, but if you're an ex-hockey player and you struggle with these issues, hopefully this will help you understand why and give you some strategies to work on them. So the three major things that hockey players are going to do with a golf club is they are gonna tend to sway a little bit off of the ball, they're gonna tend to keep the club face closed or, or restrict forearm rotation during the backswing, and they're gonna tend to have a forward lunge of the upper body. So these are three big movements that are helpful when I'm hitting a slap shot, but problematic when I'm swinging a golf club. So the, the sway is essentially going to be this lateral movement, and typically their initiation, um, which would be good with a hockey stick, is going to be that closed faced, um, and they will have some of the most closed faced of anybody who I've ever measured on 3D, um, but they'll tend to have closed face with a little bit of a sway as opposed to rotating and kind of uh, letting my upper body turn into my trail side. They tend to stay a little bit more lead side bent, which by itself can make it uh, problematic for hitting the driver um, unless I have this major jump on the way down, which a lot of them tend to do. The other one that uh, I've seen more and more, and from talking to one of my ex-hockey players, he says that this is actually encouraged in hockey um, of the sports. This is one of the few that I never really played. But during the hockey slap shot, you're going to want to have your upper body drifting towards the net during the entire time. You're not going to want to post up and go like so because um, you have the tendency to fan or swing over top of the puck. This upper body covering movement like so tends to let you hit behind it and then keep the, the uh, blade close to the ice as it goes through the puck. But when it comes to golf, this can cause big time angle of attack issues as well as forcing you to cast both to hold off some of this face rotation um, and to shadow out the club from this steep upper body movement. So, they tend to struggle with what I think are some of the more um, annoying problems, one of which being fat wedges. Um, because I'm taking it away closed and I'm forward lunging kind of like so, I'll tend to fall into this early extension pattern late um, and get the path coming too much from the inside. Now with a hockey slap shot, I can hit behind it and the, that actually helps with a slap shot. But the problem is with a golf club, if, I'm, if I do that, if I come from the inside and have the club bottom out behind it, I'll typically get leading edge strikes. So I'm going to get laying side or I'm going to pull my arms in and I'm going to blade it. So if you're working on getting out of hockey um, and becoming more of a golfer, one of the things that I would recommend is working on this stable pivot, which we teach during the backswing in the transition section. And then working on having a little bit more forearm rotation on the way back um, by letting it open up kind of like so, it'll allow you to square it um, without using that forward lunge. And that forward lunge um, can be great for iron play, it can be great for a few specific shots, uh, but typically hurts your wedges, typically hurts your driver, and so I think it's kind of one of those problems you want to get out of. So if you're coming from hockey, you've got to learn to let the club face rotate a little bit more. You've got to learn to stabilize your pivot, um, and usually you'll have to work on a little bit of this early extension pattern, but if you do, I promise you can find that this game is just as fun and a lot less dangerous, um, something that you can do well into your older years. So good luck adjusting from a life of hockey into a life of golf.